All of y'all that watch my channel know that the wife and I love to go camping. We go camping on a very regular basis and sometimes we like a nice glass of wine. Now, what I've got here is a wine chiller, an automatic wine chiller, and I think this thing will be great when we take it out camping or we're out by the pool, but I'm gonna show you around it, show you what it's all about. Y'all stick around. Hey, if you guys like my content, like my videos, please go down there and hit that thumbs up button. Go ahead and like and subscribe. But let's get on with this. What I've got here is an automatic wine chiller by CoBalance. This thing is a, it's a beautiful stainless. It's a really nice looking product, but what it's gonna do, it's gonna be able to chill our wine without putting it in the ice bucket, getting it too cold, making too much of a mess with water and ice and everything. This thing is gonna chill it down indoors or outdoors. And it, uh, it really is a nice product. So let me show you around it a little bit. On the back side, it's very simple. We've got an on off button and we connect our power supply. Now our power supply plugs into it. It does have a 110 volt outlet for use in your home. And it also has a 12 volt outlet, a cigarette lighter plug. So you can plug it into your car or plug it into a battery and use it outdoors. Use it while you're camping. Now on the front here, it's just a very simple control. There's a power button, there's a, a down and up button for your temperature control, and then there's a Fahrenheit Celsius control also. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in real quick, and we're gonna turn it on. Now once it's plugged in, you're simply gonna hit the power button, and you can see the control screen lights up, and now we can simply adjust our temperatures up and down however we would like and we can also change Fahrenheit and Celsius as well. Very simple to operate and um, it's gonna be really good. And I plugged it in just a little while earlier and it did get really cold inside. So it's made to hold your bottles upright. Now we're gonna be using this bottle of Tiny Umbrellas Ripe Peach. We like a sweet fruity wine and that's what we're gonna be using today. And what you're gonna do, you're gonna turn it on, set the temperature you want and walk away and it's gonna stay cool and it's gonna do what it's supposed to do. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take this thing outside and I'm gonna plug it in and this wine right now is at room temperature but we're gonna start taking temperature readings sitting outside and we're gonna let it cool down and see how long it takes to chill this bottle of wine. And I'm looking to reach 42 degrees with this bottle of wine. That's gonna be, I think, the ideal, ideal temperature for a fruity sweet wine. So that's what we're going with. So I'm gonna take this thing outside. See y'all in a minute. So I've got the Co-Balance wine chiller set up out here in the yard. And you can probably hear there's lawnmowers running, cars passing on the street. It's just a regular day in the neighborhood, but that's what we got to deal with when we're filming. So we're gonna go ahead and take an initial temperature reading of the Tiny Umbrellas wine, which should be about room temperature. It should be around 70, 72 degrees. And it is coming in at 70.3 degrees. I don't know if you guys could see that, but that's where it's at right now. Now today, it's about 80 degrees outside. It's, um, it's a nice day here in South Louisiana. The summer heat is not deathly upon us yet. So um, it's a nice day to be sitting in outside enjoying some wine. So let's go ahead and turn this thing on. And we're gonna set it down to 42 degrees. Oh, 42 degrees. So um, we're gonna put it in. Now it is five minutes after noon right now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come back in a half hour or so, and we'll check the temperature and see where it's progressing. Now, I'm gonna guess it should probably take two hours or so to chill this wine down. So if you are gonna wanna enjoy some wine, some cool wine outside, either take it from your fridge and keep it cool in here so it can sustain temperature or plug it in a little early. But that's just a guess on my part, but we'll check it out. See you in a half an hour. The Co-Balance Wine Chiller has been on for a half an hour out here. So let's see what kind of temperature we're getting a half an hour in. Now, remember, we were at 70 degrees just a few minutes ago. And 
and right now we are at 72 degrees. So it has risen a couple of degrees since I've had it out here. Now it is cold inside. Now maybe the bottom is colder than the top. Let's give it a little stir and see if that helps at all. And that did, we're at 68 degrees now. So the top that, that I was reaching was a little bit warmer, but the bottom was a little cooler. So let's let it continue to stay in there and, uh, and see where it goes. See if it gets down to its desired temperature. And uh, it's probably gonna get close, I would imagine, but we'll see, we'll check it out. It's a few minutes after one. Let's see if we're making any headway. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a little twist first and we'll open it up. And we are at 67 degrees, so it is cooling off slowly. So we're an hour in. I may have to let it go for three hours. But it's definitely cooling. And like I said before, I believe if you brought a cool bottle of wine outside and were to stick it in here, I'm sure it would sustain the temperature. In fact, I know it would because it's bringing the temperature down. And like I said, it's 80 degrees outside. So I think it's performing pretty decently. Now you can see it'll fit a larger bottle of wine. If you had one that touched the sides, it would probably cool down quicker. But um, it's doing its job, but we'll continue to let it go. So uh, I'll check it again in another half hour. Well, we're at the hour and a half mark. Let's see. Let's see what it's at. I'm not gonna spin it this time like I did. Let's just get a temperature on it. Maybe I will spin it. Let's give it a little toss. I know that the bottom's cooler than the top. The top's exposed to the air. The bottom is quite cold though. All right, it's starting to come down now. We're at 64 degrees. So it's brought it down almost 10 degrees now. Well, 60 degrees. It's bringing it down. We're at an hour and a half. I was thinking two hours. We could get it down under 50, but it may be three. I'll continue to let it run and keep you guys updated. Well, it's a couple of minutes after two. We've been going for two hours and let's see where we're at. It's definitely cooling down. That bottom's nice and cold. That's why I'm twisting it like this. Cause I know the top is not getting cooled off like the bottom is. So let's see. All right, we're at 63 degrees. We're at 63 degrees. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna let this sit here another hour and then I'm gonna enjoy it no matter what the temperature is. But I think it's pretty obvious that if you're gonna to wanna to take a, a room temperature bottle of wine and cool it down outside, you're gonna to wanna to turn it on pretty early if you wanna enjoy it in the afternoon. Now, if you got a cold bottle of wine, it obviously will maintain that temperature because I, I can say that because it's dropping the temperature now. So we started at 70 degrees, it's at 63. So it's only come down seven degrees, but the fact of the matter is it would retain a cold temperature. But I'm gonna give it another hour and then we'll wrap this up. Well, it's uh, about a minute to three. So this has been going on about three hours. Now, I'm not expecting it to drop a whole lot since last time, but what I will say is if the wine was cold, it would have kept it cold. And I think it would be great for use in a campground, outside somewhere where you could plug it in. Um, I don't think you'd want to use it in your house, really, because you got a refrigerator right there. Now, using it outside will be great. And what's cool is you don't have to worry about a water bucket, right? You're not dripping water all over. It'll stay nice and cool the way it is. But let's see what it actually dropped down to. 
Well, the bottom's pretty cold. Down at the bottom, it's pretty cold. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So the top stays exposed. So the top's not going to get real cold. But the bottom is indeed cold. Turn this thing on. Okay, so it's gotten down to 61 degrees. So it's brought it down 10 degrees, roughly 10 degrees, in three hours. So we're gonna enjoy our 60 degree semi chilled wine. <laughs> So if you'd like to check out the Cobalance Wine Chiller, I really think it's a good idea. I think it'll keep your wine cool while you're hanging out by the pool, let's say, or in the campground or wherever you may be. I got a link in the uh, description down below. You guys go check it out. And until then, me and the missus gonna enjoy a little glass of wine. See y'all next time. Not too shabby. Not bad. No, that's, that's a good temperature actually for this wine. Ha, ha, ha.